AgriFab 12 cubic foot utility cart makes yard chores easier. Inspired by in-depth customer research, SCART offers several useful features, including large tires for easy maneuverability over rough terrain and a durable steel bed to ensure a long product life. Unloading is easy with a removable tailgate and tailgate guides. The large 12 cubic foot cart can move up to 750 pounds of ground cover, dirt or other materials quickly and effortlessly. And with the universal tow hitch, it can be used with any brand of lawn tractor. That's why we can say AgriFab. Lawn care made easy. In this segment, you'll see what's included in the box and what tools you'll need to complete the assembly. Before you begin, be sure that all the parts and hardware are present. In the box, you should have two tailgate guides, part one, two corner caps, part two, one foot pedal latch, part three, one hitch bracket, part four, one latch stand bracket, part five, one tailgate reinforcement bracket, part six, one tailgate, part seven, one front panel, part eight, one wheel support, part nine, one axle, part 10, one drawbar tongue, part 11, two cart body panels, part 12, two wheels, part 13. In the hardware packages, you should have 21 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A, two 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts, part B, 12 5 16 18 by 3 quarter inch truss head bolts, part C, 21 quarter inch 20 nylock nuts, part D, 13 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part E, 2 5 16 18 SEMS nuts, part F, 2 3 8 inch 16 nylock nuts, part G, 6 3 quarter inch flat washers, part H, 2 8 inch by 1 inch cotter pins, part I, 1 extension spring, part J, 1 5 16 18 by 4 inch hex bolt, part K, Two hubcaps, part L. One eighth inch hair cotter pin, part M. One spring puller tool, part N. One clevis pin, part O. Two axle clips, part P. Two flanged bearings, part Q. Keep the assembly hardware in the bags until needed to keep from getting mixed together. You'll need the following tools to complete the assembly. One pair of pliers. One standard screwdriver. Two seven sixteenths inch wrenches one half-inch wrench, and two nine-sixteenths-inch wrenches. In this segment, we'll show you how to assemble the cart body. Begin by standing the two cart body panels, part 12, on end and aligning the holes. Next, insert three-quarter-inch by five-eighths-inch hex bolts, part A, through the holes and secure them with three-quarter-inch nylock nuts, part D. Next, align the tailgate reinforcement bracket, part 6, with the cart body. Now, insert 4 5 16 by 3 quarter inch truss head bolts, part C, and insert them through the cart body and bracket at the bottom of the bed. Secure them using 4 5 16 inch nylock nuts, part E. Next, align a tailgate guide, part one, with the guide channel toward the inside of the cart body. Insert two quarter inch by five eighths inch hex bolts, part A, through the guide, cart side panel, and tailgate reinforcement bracket. Then secure them with two quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Repeat for the other tailgate guide. Next, turn the cart over so it rests on the tailgate reinforcement bracket. Now, align the front panel, part 8, onto the cart bed so the flanges fit on the outside of the cart body. 
Next, insert two quarter inch by five eighths inch hex bolts part A in the bottom center of the cart body. Then secure them with two quarter inch nylock nuts part D. Next, insert two quarter inch by five eighths inch hex bolts part A in the holes on the side of the bed. Then secure them with two quarter inch nylock nuts part D. Next, align the wheel support part 9 and insert 8 15 16 by 3 quarter inch truss head bolts part C. Then secure them using 8 5 16 inch nylock nuts part E. Now align the latch stand bracket. Next insert 4 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts part A. Then secure them using 4 quarter inch nylock nuts part D. Now align a front corner cap part 2 with the front of the cart. Then insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A. Then secure it with 2 quarter inch nylock nuts, part D. Repeat on the other side. Next, turn the cart over. Then insert 2 quarter inch by 5 8 inch hex bolts, part A, in the holes on the side of the bed. Then secure them with two quarter inch nylock nuts part D. Now, press a flanged bearing part Q into each side of the drawbar tongue part 11. Next, turn the bed upside down. Then align the drawbar tongue. Now slide the axle part 10 through the wheel support. Next, slide the foot pedal latch part 3 up through the drawbar tongue. Then insert the 5 16 by 4 inch hex bolt part K while threading a 5 16 18 SEMS nut part F on either side of the foot pedal latch. Then secure the other end with a 5 16 inch nylock nut. Now adjust and tighten the SEMS nuts to center the foot pedal latch and the tongue. Now insert the short end of the extension spring part J into the foot pedal latch. Then use the spring puller tool. Part N to seat the extension spring into the drawbar tongue. Now slide an axle clip, part P, onto the axle flange facing in. Now slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part H. Next, slide on a wheel, part 13, air valve facing out. Now slide on a 3 quarter inch flat washer, part H. Then insert an 8 inch by 1 inch cotter pin, part I, and bend the ends out. Now press a hubcap part L onto the axle. Repeat for the other wheel. If there's excessive play, use two 3 quarter inch flat washers after the wheel. Next place the cart on its wheels. Then align the hitch bracket part 4. Now insert two 3 8 inch by 1 inch hex bolts part B. Then secure them with two 3 8 inch nylock nuts part G. Now insert the clevis pin, part O. Then secure it with the 8th inch hair cotter pin, part M. Now install the tailgate, part 7, by sliding it into the tailgate. This segment will provide some operating and maintenance tips for the 12 cubic foot utility cart. To attach the cart to your tractor, slide the cart's tongue onto the tractor's hitch bracket. Insert the clevis pin part O through the hitch bracket and hitch. Secure it by inserting the hair cotter pin part M into the clevis pin. To dump material from your cart, remove the tailgate by lifting it up and out of the tailgate guides. Then stand clear of the cart. Release the bed by stepping on the latch lever. The cart body can then tilt to empty its contents. When the material has been unloaded, push the front of the cart bed down until the latch lock lever snaps back into place. Then, replace the tailgate. When properly used, the cart can move up to 750 pounds of material around your property.
For best handling and traction, distribute the weight of your load you are moving evenly in the cart. Do not use the cart on a slope. Periodically inspect your cart for loose bolts or nuts and tighten them immediately. Check the tires are adequately inflated. Do not inflate beyond the maximum pressure printed on the side of the tire. Store your cart in a clean, dry area. Congratulations, your AgriFab 12 cubic foot utility cart is now fully assembled and ready to use. For additional helper replacement parts, call AgriFab at 1-800-448-9282 or visit www.speedepart.com to purchase replacement parts. AgriFab, lawn care made easy.